What is Starlight Beacon? A space station, a Jedi temple, a military base during the High, Repo during the High Republic, part of Lino So's greater works to expand the Republic. We are all the Republic. Served as a waypoint in remote parts of the galaxy, intended to run as a military base under the Republic Defense Coalition against the Huts and the Mandalorians, which at the time are calming down and no longer expanding, but in fact still keep a small, or at least the Starlight Beacon keeps a small peacekeeping fleet, but is nothing to trifle with. Starlight Beacon also worked as a hospital, observatory, research station, market, cultural center, basically a melting pot of the Republic to show the Outer Rim territories like, hey, this is what the Republic is. We can have multiple different, uh, you know, diverse cultures with inside the Republic. And like I said, it's a melting pot of the Republic, more or less. Uh, I do think it is interesting that as the, you know, greater works in the expansion of the Republic, the expanding Republic places a military installation to grow its strength and to show its power to, you know, the unknown territories, you know, to tame the dangerous outer rim and establish civilization is kind of how I view it. Kind of like hist historical a little bit, you know, as the United States pushed west, you know, establishing civilization to tame these wild lands and establish civilization. That's kind of how I view, or at least that's, that's at least what I read into in terms of like how I choose to interpret Starlight Beacon. Like I said, it is a military base and a Jedi temple. You know, it does serve as a, you know, symbol of light and hope and peace to a many in the Outer Rim territories, but to a lot of other people, it is a sign of military uh, imperialization showing up to the Outer Rim territories. And I'm sure that the Huts and the Mandalorians look at that as well, that they're like, oh, look at, um, look at the Republic expanding its territory and its military reach and wants to continue to expand its military reach. And of course that's what it does, which eventually leads to the Clone Wars. So I like that this is kind of like the catalyst of the expansion for the Republic. And if, you, and if we go a hundred years down the road, this is where we get the empire. So just a little interesting thing to note about, you know, what is Starlight Beacon, but it basically is a mobile city. I think the most important thing of it is that it is a Jedi temple, military base, and a space station, and then everything else is just kind of added for people to come along. But those three things, space station, Jedi temple, military base, are the three most important things for Starlight Beacon in the High Republic era as well.